Hello, and welcome to Sherwood New Life. And we are going to be doing things just a little bit different. We know that when you come online, you don't spend a whole lot of time um, watching someone. And so we're going to give a, a brief synopsis of what the message will be um, on Sunday mornings. And so starting this week, we're gonna be very, very short. And so this week we are going to be in 1 Samuel 28. And I just wanna say a quick prayer. Lord, I just ask your blessing on each person who is listening today. And I just pray that you speak to their hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, we've been talking about life lessons in 1 Samuel. And today's uh, life lesson or subject may be a little bit um, surprising to you. And um, I've entitled this sermon, Stranger Things. And for those of you who have seen that show, um, your ears probably just um, perked up and, and you're like, how on earth does a, a sermon become um, called Stranger Things? Well, we're gonna be looking at 1 Samuel chapter 28, and it is one of the weirder, um, stranger, things in the Bible. And in this chapter, um, Saul has, um, he has lost the anointing of God big time. And he um, does not have the hand of God in his leadership um, because of the things that we have talked about earlier in the book. And one of the things, uh, by this time, Samuel has died and after that, Saul banned all of the mediums in Israel. In other words, all of those who did witchcraft, who, um, who tried to contact the dead, he banned them. They were, they were not to practice those evil arts. And yet we see here in 1 Samuel um, 28, Saul is going to go to a medium or a witch in the town of Endor. And I don't think, for those of you who are older, I don't think it is lost on you if you remember the show Bewitched and, um, and uh, the main character's mother, her name was Endora and they were witches. And I, I find it very interesting and I, I don't think that is a coincidence. Um, but this witch or medium is from the town of Endor and Saul goes to her because he has inquired of God and God hasn't answered him um, in the time frame that Saul uh, thought that God should. And so he, she, he goes to this medium and he disguises himself so that she doesn't see who he is. And so I'm going to read um, starting at verse eight and uh, I'm going to read what he does. And it says there, then Saul disguised himself by putting on other clothes and went he and two men with him and they came to the woman in the night. And he said, conjure up for me, please, and bring up for me whom I shall name to you. But the woman said to him, behold, you know what Saul has done. Now he has cut off those who are mediums and, excuse me, and spiritists from the land. Why are you then laying a snare for my life to bring about my death? And Saul vowed to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord lives, there shall no punishment come upon you for this thing. Then the woman said, Whom shall I bring up for you? And he said, Bring up Samuel for me. When the woman saw Samuel, she cried out with a loud voice, and the woman spoke to Saul, saying, Why have you deceived me? For you are Saul. And the king said to her, Do not be afraid, but what do you see? And the woman said to Saul, I see a divine being coming up out of the earth. And he said to her, What is his form? And she said, An old man is coming up, and he is wrapped with a robe. And Saul knew that it was Samuel. And he bowed with his face to the ground and did homage. Then Samuel said to Saul, Why have you disturbed me by bringing me up? 
And Saul answered, I am greatly distressed for the Philistines are waging war against me and God has departed from me and answered me no more, either through prophets or by dreams. Therefore, I have called you that you may make known to me what I should do. I'm going to stop right there. Um, you can continue reading um, there. Uh, uh, Samuel gives him a, an answer, one that is just a, a, a declaration of death for Samuel, or I'm sorry, for Saul um, and his sons. And this is a, I, but what I want to, to talk about just very, very briefly here is that this is a warning to us. We are to only inquire of God. We are only to go to God. We are not to contact mediums or anything to do with the occult, um, horoscopes, astro uh, astrology, almost said astronomy. Astronomy is okay, astrology, um, anything like that. And, and I'm going to say this, um, you're going to hear more and more about UFOs. And um, some of you may poo-poo that, um, but I think, um, and, and I know that we are going to hear more and more about UFOs. And if you do any research on this subject, you will see that, um, the government research has been that that the occult and UFOs and the phenomena of UFOs, they are connected. And we know that anything that isn't from God is from Satan. And so my life lesson to you today out of 1 Samuel 28 is that you cling to God. And when God doesn't answer in the time that you think he should, that you still hang on to him. Trust in him because he only has your good in mind. And anything else is, is not good and it's not for you as a Christian. So I want to give that little tidbit to you. I hope you have a great week. We will see you next week. You can go to um, uh, SherwoodNewLife.org and um, if you'd like to give to the ministries of the church or if you have a prayer request or would like to send us a message. And then if you would uh, like and subscribe to our channel, that would be awesome. Have a great week. We'll see you next week.